Welcome to Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to go over the electron configuration of aluminum and silicon. I'll be using the diagonal rule method, and although this works for most elements on the periodic table, there are some exceptions. And I will leave a list of these exceptions at the end of the video. So let's get started. First, let's draw the diagonal chart. I will start with the S orbital and number 1 through 7, then the p orbital, 2 through 7, then the d and the f. The s orbital can hold up to 2, the p orbital can hold up to 6, the d orbital can hold up to 10, and the f orbital can hold up to 14. And it goes up by 4 each time. So let's get started with aluminum. Aluminum has an atomic number of 13, so it has 13 electrons. So I will start at the 1s, and it can hold 2, so it will be 1s2. Then I move to the 2s, so it can hold 2s2. Then the 2p, and the p can hold up to 6, so it will be 2p6. Then move to the s, the 3s, so that will be 3s2. And now I have one electron left, and that will be a 3p1. And if you write it using the noble gas, here's what it looks like. Next up, silicon. Silicon has an atomic number of 14, so it has 14 electrons. So again, I will start at the 1s, so it will be 1s2. Then move to the 2s, 2s2. Then move to the 2p, 2p6. Then move to the 3s, 3s2, and that leaves me with two more, so it will be 3p2. And here it is written using the noble gas. Here's the list of exceptions of the diagonal rule. And I hope that helps with the electron configuration. Thanks for watching, and Moomoo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please. Subscribe and share.